it's Zara. I have a little haul, tiny little haul video, but mainly it was to share. I mean, I get, did get a couple Prima things, but I want to bring these in real quick first. This is a block, and they consider it a photo block, but it's hollow. I got this at my Michaels. They're calling it, it just says block, but I think it says photo block. And I found this in the wood aisle on the very bottom shelf, um, kind of where the packaged wood um, shapes are, where you, where you would get your little one inch tiles and different things like that. So it was on the bottom and I grabbed, there was only two there and I got them both because this is, um, D and I, Miss D, oops, there goes my stamps. Miss D and I are doing um, an artist trading block swap. And I had the ones that my husband made me, which was which were great. And she said, we're going to do one block, three and a half by three and a half approximately. And that's what this is. These are three and a half by three and a half. So perfect. But what I loved was, and I was going to use the block Joe made, but it's solid. And this is hollow. So it's so much lighter. And I'm so excited. D, I have such a great idea for this one. So um, I just wanted to share that because I know... Uh, I've done a, sh a video on artist trading blocks, and um, Dee is totally into them, and she's been able to construct hers out of cardboard. Uh, it's like um, for shipping, for packaging, um, and it's like this corrugated cardboard that like, she's now shaped into blocks. So she's gotten creative with it, but I just thought, woo, for a... And they weren't cheap. I mean, I think it was like... F it was over it was four dollars it was over you know I mean it wasn't like a dollar <laughs> but I mean not too expensive I mean it's worth it to me because I'm the project I'm doing I just want to really be good um, so I got these from an online store um, let me see they actually sent me two of these and I ordered the moth one too this is a Prima product and I ordered the moth wings and the butterfly wings this is from crafty city um, it's a dot com place I saw um, a young lady on YouTube she was showing some of the products and I saw this and I just thought they were super cute and you don't need this at all I mean it was pretty cheap they're only for 485 for this so I was pretty happy with that but it comes with the the wing stamps and the body stamps but you get these little filler pieces to make it kind of steampunky. So I love metal and I love playing with that stuff. So I got the butterfly and the moth. The moth one kind of has, I think it's like a bee and a moth. So they sent me two of these. So I already emailed and hopefully we'll be able to exchange that. And I'll get the other one too. Um, and then I got these, the Julie Nutting um, charms. I don't know if you guys have seen these. But these are the art dolls. These are all the little art dolls. Look how cute. And they're kind of along the lines of this. I had ordered some stuff from um, Artsy, what the heck's it called? Oh man, Retro Cafe. And these are, it's the same material I think as this. It's kind of like a masonite, I want to say. Um, I can't see if it says what this, it's made of, this wood. But it's like a, probably a press board type material, but it's wood. And it's it's all the little dolls. I mean, it's pretty much. Look, there's the the mermaid. Can you see these? Um, I can't remember how much this was. How much was this? Ten bucks. Ten dollars. But it also comes in this cool jar, so you could alter this jar too if you wanted. It has a wood lid. You could put some paper up there, or just leave it natural. I think it's super cute. Oh, look, even the new doll. She's one of the new ones. Oh, look, the snow girl from the card set. Hey, that's Aiden with shorts. Look, it's the Halloween chick. Yeah, so there's even, here's Aiden too. There's some new ones too. There's old ones and new ones. Here's the cow girl. So super cute. Oh, look, it's Riley. I love Riley. She's so cute. All right, so anyway, I think there's like 30 of them in there, and they're just like to hang on tags. I think Prima came out with these little tags that are about like three inches, maybe the size of an ATC card. I'm just going to grab a piece of, uh, so this is three and a half, so I think that the, and then you would just hang it with the, with the tag. I think that's the idea behind it, but I just really like these, <laughs> so I got them. Um, so that's that. 
And then the last thing I just wanted to show you was I'm still, I'm making junk journals. I have one in the works now, but I happen to be at Michael's today and I saw this paper line and I just thought this is perfect for junk journals. I'm going to go up a little bit because it's a recollections um, paper pad and actually their paper is 40% off this week. So I did get it um, based on that too because I hate to spend full price, but look at all this cut aparts. Live simply, love deeply. You may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me. Look at the journaling card, the journaling spots. And these are big. This is six by four. So I love that for um, an art, um, not an art journal, a um, junk journal. And look at this. There's graph paper. There's a, a ledger paper. And it's all in the craft colors. So I love craft. And oh my gosh, I love this paper when I saw it for junk journaling. And I mean, I think I'm more into the, um, not the true junk journal where it's literally junk that like re recycled papers and things. I'm doing uh, smash junk journals. I think I'm going to consider it a smash junk journal. Um... But I, in a, in a little smaller version, in a little, I'll throw in some extra like pockets and things like that, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it. And then look at these. Live well, laugh often. Oh, there's a stamp. <laughs> uh, six by four, going the opposite way. Look, a postcard. You can't see that. So cute. But look how many. There's so many. This one's like a little top of a ledger page, more graph paper. The secret to having it all is knowing you already do. Oh, I love that. And look at this. So another, this is actually 6 by 12, two pieces, but you could cut them in half. And then this is kind of cute little journaling pieces too. I guess you could fussy cut out some stuff. But look how much. And then these are getting down to more like ATC size. They're like 3 by 4, 3 by 4. Just little cute little things. Look at this even more. See, I was just so impressed with this for the little parts that you could use. Um, then you could, you know, even cut this up. There's just little strips. You don't even have to use that, but it could go along the bottom of a page. And then there's just the regular papers. There's two of each paper, and they're just kind of craft and I guess like a chocolatey brown, even a gray. But I love that because I think my junk journals are kind of going to be with craft paper. I'm loving the craft lately and I just want to do the monotone. Look at this. You could even cut these out. Life is good. Always and forever. You could cut these out and put them in there. Live, love, laugh. Maya's here. I think Maya just got home from school. So look at that. Look at that graph paper. Love it. So, alright you guys. That's it for today. That's my little share. Thanks for watching.